If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode milestone number 100. This is, of, of course, the 100th episode of this series that is going down very, very well and continuing to do so. It's probably my most popular series and I can't thank you guys enough for the continued support that you show this series week after week. You guys like all the videos, you view all the videos, you comment on all the videos. It really does mean a lot to me and the, uh, the constant support on this series is half the reason why the channel is growing so well. So please do continue to show this, uh, this particular series and everything on the channel the the same level of support as you have been over the past few weeks and months today to uh, to kind of mark the milestone we'll be playing four games rather than the normal two we've got Tottenham then we've got Barcelona in the Champions League in the round of 16 Chelsea in the FA Cup and then QPR I'm not sure whether we'll be selected for all of these four, we may have to uh, to skip one and end up playing the West Brom game or maybe even the second leg of the uh, Champions League against Barcelona because the games do come thick and fast and you know what Louis van Gaal is like. But the form we're in, we should be starting more than uh, we're not starting when we are playing, obviously, as you can see, against Tottenham away from home at White Hart Lane. So if we can continue to put in the performances we have been over the past few episodes, if Waita can continue to keep a clean sheet like he did in his debut in the last episode, then maybe we stand a good chance of closing the gap to Liverpool at the top of the Premier League. It Currently sits at eight points, but hopefully we can get that down to maybe four or five in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yes, if you enjoy the video, drop it a like as always. Of course, let me know in the comments section how you think we're going to get on before we get going underway in this episode. And uh, you'll have to wait and see how we do actually get on. But again... Thank you for your continued support on this series. It really does mean a lot. And uh, it is genuinely the reason why the channel is doing so well right now. So your continued support on all of this series is uh, very much appreciated. And uh, hopefully I can reward that by uh, rewarding you with an entertaining video. But uh, first off, we have to try and get a result away from home against Spurs. Paulinho into Adebayor. Capu. Andros Townsend on the left-hand side now rather than the right. Might try and get it back through the air towards... Uh, Adebayor, if Asil Koto can work it back to him. He does come that cross, and it's actually uh, Pritchard, I think, at the back post trying to rise for that. May even have been Lewis Holtby. We've got the chance for a counter attack. I'll call for a through ball because I've got lots of space to run into. I'm not sure whether we might be able to get a shot away here. Kyle Walker's closing me down. Lloris with a good reaction save with his feet. That's the first chance for us this game. Really good through ball from Angel Di Maria. Not really too sure where Kyle Walker had disappeared to. He went on a bit of a, a run forward. We caught them on the quick counter-attack, but great reactions from the Frenchman. As he, we've come to expect in the BPL from uh, Hugo Lloris in passing weeks and uh, months. Let's try and finesse that towards the top corner. That's not going to work. Well closed down by Paulinho. Adebayor's going to break away. Now it's a chance for Tottenham to catch us on the counter-attack after we try to do that to them. Adebayor's not really got much support here, though. We should be able to get a tackle in sooner rather than later. At least I hope so, because they're coming forward quite nicely here. Etienne Capou, we've slowed them down a little bit, but they've got two men over here. Andrew Townsend and Kyle Walker continuing to link up well on this right-hand side. But obviously, if we catch Kyle Walker out of position again, we might have a chance at the other end if Cody can get it up. Bentaleb, Cody again. Looks like the movers completely died, so uh, I'll probably cut here to the next highlight. Walker, he's got Capou... Waiting for the ball, but gets tackled by Blinn. But it does drop to Lewis Holtby. Here's Paulinho. Nice turn inside. Squares it across. Adebayor with a header. He really should have done better there. That could have been a really good opportunity for Spurs if he'd have been able to get that header on target properly. But Pritchard is going to find Capu. Tottenham still with the ball. Still trying to threaten to uh, to take the lead here. It's been quite a good game so far. Not really too much goal action, which is probably why you haven't seen too many highlights so far. But... It's been an entertain, entertaining game to play, so hopefully at some point it really will come to life with uh, chances on goal. And uh, I'll have something more substantial to show you. It's Di Maria. It's played me. Blind might make me a nice run. He is doing so, but I'm going to have to use Rooney instead because I couldn't really work the angle there. Cody's going to try and get a cross in, hopefully. He's done well, actually, to work the opportunity. Oh, my days! Asu Okoto almost scores an own goal. Tried to head that clear and ended up almost putting it in the bottom corner. Would have been a very good finish if it had ended up in the back of the net. God, that was close to 1-0 Man United. Let's see if Di Maria can get a better corner in this time. That's decent, but not going to beat the first man again. How many times have we seen Di Maria do that in this career mode in the past few games? 
Really disappointing deliveries from him, and you would expect better from a player of that quality. But Paulinho is trying his best to uh, to get the ball off me here. Let's try a cheeky McGeady spin. Didn't quite come off, but we've still got the ball. So we'll do a scoop turn inside and a finesse shot again. Lariso with a good save, and Rooney couldn't quite keep it in. But Asu Okoto gives away another corner. We'll try again to take the lead. Let's see if Di Maria can beat the first man. This time he has done. Phil Jones can't unfortunately get the ball on towards goal but oh nice little back heel back to uh, the Argentinian though here's Daly Blind back oh terrible ball from the Dutchman never mind they've gotten it clear and it doesn't look like anything's going to come unless Rooney oh no it might do Di Maria back inside the box and then outside the box but running around nicely I've called for the pull back oh I can't beat Capu to it though and Tottenham are definitely going to get it away this time Paulinho to Pritchard might go back to Paulinho. He's kind of on his own here, Pritchard, but he doesn't need any, any support from anyone else. Townsend knocks it down to Holtby, and that's 1-0 Tottenham on the very stroke of half-time, probably the third of four minutes added on. A really well-worked goal. Brilliant cross by Pritchard to pick out the man at the back post, and he knocks it back down, and a top finish from Lewis Holtby. Waita concedes his first goal in a Manchester United shirt, and it's Tottenham 1, Manchester United 0 on the very stroke of half-time. That's a cut with a throw into Holtby. Who's hope we already scored one. Can he set up another? Eric Lemen has just come on the pitch himself. Hope he's on the edge dangerously, but Bentaleb gets a good challenge in. They'll recover it with Paulinho. Tottenham are just working a lot harder than uh, our midfield is right now and our defence. Whenever the, we get forward, their defenders are right on us to try and close the ball out, but they seem to have so much space around everybody in the box. Oh, what a leap from Andros Townsend. A great chance for 2-0 on the hour mark. Helping him back to his feet is our defender. But my word, did he get up well there. Raphael didn't stand a chance in winning that header. He just flew like an absolute salmon. But unfortunately for him, flew wide. Townsend to Kapu. Asuakoto. Lewis Holtby in the box. Soldado's come feet to wait for the ball. Nice, really nicely worked move here by Tottenham. Into Etienne Capu, man waiting in the middle, it's Lewis Holtby again, it's dropped, Flaney clear it, oh my god, he just stood there forever, I thought he was going to just watch it go across the line for a minute, there's less than 15 minutes to go to get ourselves back in this, and as you can see Tottenham might even make it too, and they have done, brilliant finish by Soldado, oh wow, Tottenham have just been the better team, no, way, no two ways about it, I thought we were going to get a decent result here away from home, but they've completely outplayed us in every sense, Defensively, they've just worked harder in the midfield. They've found more space and played better passes. And up top, they've been more deadly. There's just not really too much you can do when the whole side just isn't firing, which is the case for us here today. Nice finish by Soldado. Nothing Waita could do about it, unfortunately. Former teammates at Valencia, of course, but never mind. It's uh, it's Tottenham 2 at Manchester United 0. Win that header, son. Well done. Di Maria knocks it down to Bentaleb. There's Johnny Evans into RVP. I thought it was going to come back to me there. Johnny Evans. Oh, finish! Johnny Evans, let's go and pick the ball up. Can I pick it up? No, Johnny Evans is going to do it himself. What a finish from Johnny Evans, the centre-back pushing forward. And that is a very, very good rifled shot into the bottom corner. It's 2-1 and we may still have a chance of getting ourselves something from this game. What a finish! I, I said it in the previous highlight, we haven't been as uh, good with our uh, finishing. But that one definitely was uh, a very, very good strike. And they're going to bring, is that Harry Kane on? I'm not sure. It is. Harry Kane for Lewis Holtby. We just brought James Wilson on as well. So he's up top through the middle now with myself wide left and RVP wide right. We've got five minutes to get ourselves an equaliser. Harry Kane having his first involvement in the game, getting it out to Paulinho. They scored at the very end of the first half. Can we do the same in the second? Although to do that, we're going to have to get the ball off them. And right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Etienne Capu running around everyone. It's actually 3-1 Tottenham rather than 2-2. I don't know what the defender was doing there. Capu has just completely torn him inside out. That was ridiculously easy for him there. Should not have been that easy to get the ball not only one way past the defender, but then to, have, to be able to turn around and go back the other way and then turn around and come back again. What is Phil Jones doing? What is he doing? Oh my God. So bad. And the shot was straight at Wheat as well. Oh wow. He's actually dived out of the way of it. Oh God. He signed an 86 rated goalkeeper. Still concedes City goals. Oh well. Tottenham 3, Manchester United 1. This has not been the start to the uh, milestone special episode that I wanted. But I'd rather lose this one and beat Barcelona than the other way around. Capu's shot was effectively the last kick of the game as well. So the final nail in the coffin from the Frenchman. But unfortunately, we get nothing from a trip to White Hart Lane. 
and uh, it's the, uh, the the North London side that come away with everything from that one. Not what we wanted from the first game of this episode, but at least we've got more games in this one to try and actually get ourselves some wins, haven't we? We're going to be doing four in today's episode, so we'll have to wait and see if we're selected for Barcelona. Hopefully we are. I want to play against Barca to try and prove myself at uh, top inter top European level, which uh, we haven't had the chance to do yet because uh, Leon weren't necessarily the best of platforms to uh, to get us into a decent stage in the Champions League and actually we only played the group stage there, didn't we? Because we left in January to go to Napoli and then we're involved in the Europa League. So this is actually our first knockout stage Champions League game of our career and we're at home against Barcelona and have been selected, although he's picked Tom Cleverley for this one, not really too sure why, but never mind. Let's uh, take on Barcelona then, shall we? Maybe this one can go a little bit better than the previous one did. They should be all right in their home kit, shouldn't they? That'd be fine. Barcelona in the rain at home then. They've just annihilated Manchester City in real life. We'll see if they can annihilate us on FIFA. We'll find out. Tom Cleverley proving that uh, <laughs> my nerves about him being in the starting lineup were probably justified. Although he has played really well there to get the ball back and he's played me in. Oh my God, am I going to score against Barcelona? No, Mascherano somehow managed to run all the way around the outside of me and get a tackle in. I thought I was going to score there. I was clean through and I'm not really too sure how Mash has been able to uh, to get the tackle in considering the pace that we have. I'm quite disappointed about that. I thought we were going to get the first chance with the first highlight. Never mind. Rooney will play it to me here if I ask for it. Nice little scoop turn. Oh, solid challenge from PK. Well, it looks like it's going to be harder than I thought to try and break down Barcelona and even when I do win the ball back, apparently I've given away a free kick. They've got Christian Eriksen in, in their midfield as well. Well, after we played Tottenham, could a former Tottenham player be our undoing here against Barcelona. We'll have to wait and see. Eriksen into Messi to Neymar. Got options on the outside, but he's decided to come back inside. Here's Leo Messi on his left foot. Good shot, good save by Waita, and that's going to go just wide. A good chance for Barcelona to get themselves in front from the rebound. I think he was offside then. He was actually well spotted by the linesman. A clear offside. Not really too, too sure who that was, their number 16, but whoever it was, he was the wrong side of the defensive line. But Barca proving that they can just carve us open at will. I'll try and flick this on, but again, do, <laughs> Mascherano gets the better of me, this time in the air rather than on the floor. Cuts inside really nicely, skips past the challenge as well. And then turns inside one matter again, Neymar to Christian Eriksen. Don't like the way this is building. Iniesta through to Dani Alves. Onside, a good save by Waita. Denies Barcelona a 1-0 lead. They are so good on this game and in real life. They're absolutely just flowing through our back line. It's like a hot knife through butter, to use the cliche. Because there's just they're doing it with absolute ease. The same way Tottenham did, really. Why have you rolled that out there, Keeps? That's going to make me slightly more nervous than I was previously. Although Tom Cleverley's made a good run there, but Raphael can't find him, taking his time to get the pass off. I'm not really... Oh, nice run by Anderson. I'll try and play him in. Just show some strength, buddy. He has done, actually. He's won the head of Will. Cleverley will find me. I'm just, just going to use a burst of acceleration. That's it. That's Danny Elvis. I'm not going to be able to outpace him, am I? Christian Eriksen's trying to get it off me. We'll feed in Juan Mata with a shot over the top of the bar. Well, we're not. it's not necessarily as flowing when we do it, but we are at least playing the ball about quite nicely and having shots. Maybe that's a good sign for the rest of the game. Neymar. Back to uh, Christian Eriksen, into Danny Alves, back out wide to Neymar. I'm waiting for something special from Neymar, but nothing's happened from him so far. But he's not needed to do anything special to this point because they've just been carving us apart. They have another good shot. Waita pounces on the rebound. If they'd have scored a rebound goal, I think I might have rage quit. It's ridiculous the amount of uh, chances they're having here. And the amount of goals you actually concede on FIFA from rebounds is uh, baffling, really. That really should have been a free kick, to be completely honest, but I'll take it. Then Anderson kicks it straight to one matter, shins, and Barca come away with it again. Uh, it's moments like that that you really need to eradicate from your game to even stand a chance of getting a result against a side this good. Neymar runs off the pitch, tries to do something special, but mm, not really getting the execution done quite so well this time around. I call for a through ball here from Raphael. I'm going to run, I'm going to run. Piquet's had the better of me so far, but I'll try a little Ronaldo chop inside. Left-footed shot, a cross goal. Actually, it wasn't a cross goal, it was at the near post, but we are going to pick up a corner. Claudio Bravo can only push it out for a set piece. Rooney's corners might be better than Di Maria's were, and it is better. But the only thing is, I think it was Juan Mata underneath it, and they've managed to get it away. And I think he stayed down, actually, and he has done. Messi, though, chance for a counter-attack for Barcelona. 
Don't dive in, boys. Just stay on your feet. Yes, Luke Saw. Well done. Man is still down in the box at uh, the far end. Cleverly will play it to me. I'll try a fake shot to get around the man. It hasn't quite worked. We've won the tackle. Just going to go for a run, although Christian Taylor will probably catch me up. So let's try and cut back and find a teammate if we can. He's now on his feet back in the box. Teo with a big ping all the way over here to Neymar. Good first touch. Is he going to do something special with it? Oh, he may do. He's hit the top of the bar. That was a nice shot. Good feet to turn inside. Five so weak foot, of course, Neymar. So he's just as potent on his left as he is on his right. And that was a very good effort. It almost seemed to pick up speed once it hit the top of the bar. Picked up a bit of top spin, perhaps. Decent shot. And that's the first, or the closest, rather, Barcelona have come so far. Other than a couple of decent saves from uh, Waita. They haven't really caused us too many issues when it actually comes to the quality of the shot. They've created chances quite easily, but they haven't taken them as well as we know that they can do. So maybe we can take advantage of that and maybe try and use that to our advantage and uh, maybe try and create one dodgy, scruffy chance at the other end and go 1-0 up. And we might do that just here. If Rooney, he's knocked it down to me for some reason. Why did he not shoot? I called for the ball from Shaw. That's where I wanted the cross or the pass, and Shaw's whipped it in, Rooney's knocked it down, I've just gotten underneath that, and unfortunately it's flown well over the top of the bar, it's a wasted effort, that was the scruffy opportunity we were talking about, it's just that we weren't able to get it into the back of the net. Neymar down the left at the start of the second half, that was a little bit too easy for my liking to cut inside, Iniesta tries to find him again, Messi's going to pick up on the loose ball, not the uh, man you want to find roaming around in your box, Waita gets the uh, the save in, but again, can't hold it, that's the one thing that I've noticed with Waita, he's... Uh, his saves are good, but he always, always bats it away. He can't, his handling isn't good enough to, you know, kind of pick the ball up and pull it into his chest. That's a great cross. Iniesta's up. He's not going to, oh, that was close. I think he was offside. He was. That was very close, though. Iniesta had the opportunity to perhaps just topo that into the back of the net. Had he been onside, would have been a great opportunity for Barca to take the lead. Fortunately, though, we stay at 0-0. We've got 40 minutes left to, A, keep a clean sheet and avoid any away goals, and B, try and sneak a winner ourselves. Alves is committed to the challenge there, and we've got the run on him. I'm going to try and find Rooney inside. We have done quite nicely. Is he going to work it back to me? He's going on a nice run. Can he get a cross in? He's going to use Luke Shaw. Shaw. Oh, he's going to find Rooney. I wasn't expecting that. He's going to find me. I run out of room here, though. We've worked that quite nicely, though. Although there's still not really too much space to, to use. Barca have got a lot of men back. Defending really well, getting the numbers back. Here's Luke Shaw. Does really well again. Finds a man on the edge of the box in blind. I keep. Going into the box, then coming out the box. Here's Blind. I'll call for the cross. Stands it up. It's not going to come to me. He's going to reach Matter at the back post. Tiny little one. Matter wins the header against Jordi Alba. But again, a really wasteful effort. Well high and wide. Here's Pedro out wide. Cutting inside and then using the overlap of Jordi Alba. Almost runs it off the pitch. But good pace and a good feat to turn inside. Stands it up. Messi with the header. Messi heads just wide. Doesn't score many with his head, Leo Messi. But that was the closest that he's come all game long. And Ivan Rakitic is coming on for Christian Eriksen. Pretty much like for like players. So it's not really a surprise that they signed Eriksen really. Or maybe even it is a surprise because they have Rakitic. But they're both as good as each other. I highly rate Rakitic. One of my favourite players in La Liga. And hopefully though, he won't be able to cause us some problems here. Because... Uh, Obviously, he's a very, very good player. Brilliant passing, good shot from distance, brilliant set piece as well. Like I say, very similar to Christian Eriksen, but he's getting his first touch on the ball here and passing it about very simply, very Barcelona-esque. We've switched to attacking, though, so with 20 minutes to go, the manager's had enough of sitting back and just trying to soak up this Barca pressure, and we're actually, hopefully, going to try and uh, take the uh, the game by the scruff of the neck and try and grab and... Uh, do oh, no, that's a good cross. Well, well cleared. We're just going to try and grab the game by the scruff of the neck and uh, draw out a result if we possibly can. Mata intercepts and finds me. I see RVP making the run. I'll fire it into him. He's had the first time shot. That wasn't far away and actually took a deflection and will be a corner. My PK is asking for a goal kick. Mash is for some reason coming, <laughs> shaking his defensive teammate up. He just Did he just hit it straight against him? I hit him in the chest. Might have been on target actually from... Uh, from RVP, I'll call for this from Juan Mata because we've only got a small man with us but Iniesta has actually won the ball and after going to attacking shortly a short while ago, we've now gone to park the bus for some reason, only a few minutes later but Mata might pass me down the line if I call for it keep that in, says, we have done I've got a man in the box to aim for so I'll whip it in towards him, RVP is up for this good header down towards the bottom corner but a good save by Claudio Bravo it's the closest we've come for a while actually but uh, we'll take it. We're still nil-nil and they haven't got an away goal just yet. So we're still probably favourites 
at this particular stage, but we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, in the last 10 minutes of this game and in the second leg, obviously. We've gone 4-3-3 again, and we've gone attacking again. James Wilson through the middle now with RVP wide right and myself wide left. Seems to be a recurring theme here with uh, Louis van Gaal switching out formations. And now we've gone to park the bus. He just cannot make his mind up. He goes attacking, park the bus. Balanced, attacking, park the bus. Defensive, attacking, park the bus. He can't make his mind up. If we can get the ball away, look at the minimap. Oh, Neymar, though, tearing everybody apart here. Look at the minimap. I'm on my own on the halfway line. Danny Alves stepping into the box, though. Barcelona might be in with a chance here, and we might be in with a chance if we can get it off them. That's all we need now is a tackle. A tackle and a clearance. Right, I called for it from Chase Wilson. He's not going to give it to me. RVP might. What was that? Wow, that was his attempted pass to me, Robin Van Persie. Danny Alves still trying to get it through. I'm still on my own on the halfway line. We can still win this game if we get it back. Neymar trying to uh, waste some time down in the corner. Danny Alves with the cross. Well cleared by Smalling. James Wilson can flick that on and he's found me and I'm on my own. Pique is going to try and close me down but hopefully we have the pace to get away. It's me versus Claudio Bravo. It's Chesnoid and it's going to be 1-0 Manchester United in the final minute. They overcommitted Barcelona looking for that away goal and we've done what we predicted we might do. Catch them on the counter-attack. Score the goal to give us the 1-0 lead in the first leg and we are definitely facing favourites now heading away from home to Spain for this second. Not the most convincing of finishes, although Claudio Bravo probably should have gotten down quicker to it, but still. I tried to just slot it underneath him and I actually lifted it off the ground slightly too much than or slightly uh, more than I wanted to, but regardless, it ended up in the back of the net. As soon as he got something on it there, I thought Piquet was going to go and get it, but he had to hurdle his keeper, which meant he took him away from the ball. Goes over the line, Manchester United won at Barca nil. That's probably going to be the final result, and we are going to take a win from this first leg in the Champions League, and I have scored against Barcelona, and it was the final kick of the game. Manchester United won at Barcelona nil. We are favourites for the second leg in the Champions League round of 16. We won't be heading into the second leg in today's episode, I don't think, unless we don't get selected for any of the remaining uh, two games between now and the second leg. Actually, I think there's three games, isn't there? Chelsea in the FA Cup, QPR in the league, West Brom in the league, and then it's the second leg against Barca. So I don't think we'll be taking part in the second leg today. But that normally would have been the end of the episode. But of course, because it's a 100th episode special, we're doing two extra games today. We'll jump into this one against Chelsea if we're selected, which we have been. And we'll try and get ourselves a victory in the FA Cup as well as the Champions League. Victor Moses into Edinson Cavani. Playing some unfamiliar first team players here at Chelsea. You've got Torgan Hazard here on the ball as well in the starting line. I'm not too sure where the likes of uh, Oscar and Willian and, uh, and Eden Hazard are, but they're not in the starting lineup today. Here's Torgan again. Matic and Ramirez in the midfield, though, with uh, Aspi at right back. Great challenge, and it's going to be a free kick. Okay, thought that was a good challenge. Shut up, Victor. I thought that was a brilliant tackle from Cody there. Is he going to get booked? Don't book him for that as well. He is going to book him for that. Wowzers, I thought that was a perfectly timed challenge. We'll have a look at the replay. God, Zhani Yazov gets himself a yellow card. Does he go through Moses? Actually, that's probably a good shout. He goes through Moses to kick the ball away, and it's a free kick. I'm not really sure why Cavani's taking it. He should be in the box to head it in, but they're going to cross it. There's the man underneath it. Lucas Piazza on heads wide, and it's a goal kick to Manchester United. First chance of the game comes and goes, and it goes Chelsea's way. Matter to Fellaini. Back out wide. He's got Di Maria looking for a pass, and Juan Mata. It's a great ball by Cody looking for Juan Mata. I'll call for this here. Good first touch, let's try a Berber spin to take it around Ramirez and get the shot away. Good save by Thibaut Courtois. First chance for us in this game, then comes on 25 minutes. Took it with Swarling coming, but a decent chance. Courtois makes a good save. Apologies for my chair squeaking, it still needs a good oiling. Di Maria to take the corner. And he's beaten the first man, which is a first for him recently, but unfortunately nothing really too much is going to come from the corner unless Moses shanks his clearance, which he didn't. So where the first chance comes and goes, Unfortunately, for now, at least, we stay at nil-nil. Mata to Fellaini, to Bentaleb. There's Rooney. I'm inside if he needs me, though he's seemingly going to take this on solo. Here's Bentaleb. Not really too sure where to position myself. I try and get this shot away. Good, strong tackle from Ramirez. We've got it out wide to Rafael. I'll call for the cross. He stood it up well, but it's too far away from me and nobody really can get on the end of it. But Phil Jones brings it down. Cody might be able to get it back into the box. Rooney brings it down nicely to Bentaleb. Back to Wayne Rooney. Gets around the man. Could have gone down there for a pen. Nothing given because he stayed on his feet. 
but Fellaini gets it to me. I'll try the shot. Oh, another top save by Thibaut Courtois. It's the second time that Courtois has denied me in this game so far, although that one, oh, it didn't take a I thought it took a deflection. It didn't. It just bent away as I cut across the ball. Good save by the Belgian, though. We'll try to get ourselves a goal here if we can. I'll call for the cross here. It's not going to beat the first man again from Di Maria. His corners are really, really bad, honestly. Every game Di Maria takes corners and every game they're terrible. But regardless, Chelsea are going to come away with it. doesn't look like they're going to do anything with it, though. We forced Felipe Luis wide really well and slowed the move down. So we may have to uh, wait until the next highlight before I speak to you again. Throw in for us with uh, only a matter of minutes left. I'm waiting for someone to open it up for a throw. And there we go. Di Maria made some space for himself. Wasn't expecting that pass back to me, to be completely honest, which is why the first touch was so heavy. But we've worked it about nicely. Di Maria going to cut inside, is he? Just about, somehow. He's going to find its way to Juan Mata. I'll call for the cross. It's come my way. Oh, we've ended up scoring the goal as well. A really tidy finish. It's Manchester United 1, Chelsea 0. We scored at the very end of the second half against Barcelona. We scored at the very end of the first half here against Chelsea. Just tried to work my way into the box. Call for it from Juan Mata. And a nice little header. We'll take that. We needed some headed goals. That's 1-0 uh, Chelsea. 1-0 Manchester United against Chelsea. Finally, at the third attempt, we found a way past Thibaut Courtois, although he did his best to get to it. Nice cross from Juan Mata, and we will definitely take a 1-0 lead in this one. Laney through to Bentaleb. I'll call for a through ball. Oh, he's not going to use me. Never mind. Di Maria. We oh, tried to squeeze that through. Not really too sure why, but Matic is giving it back to him. Rooney is onside here just by the time I find him. Here's Wamata in the box. Wamata to score against his former club, and he does so. A goal either side of half-time for Manchester United. Give us a 2-0 lead in this FA Cup tie. Chasing over to follow Wamata. I'm just running around in circles now. Look at that. Never mind. 2-0. We don't care how badly we celebrate. The fact is the ball ended up in the back of the net on Mata's right foot as well. When he turned inside, I was expecting him to try and take that with the outside of his left, but he finesses it really nicely with his right foot perhaps caught the goalkeeper out because we both expected him to shoot with his left but a really tidy finish it's Manchester United 2 Chelsea 0 and it looks like we're going through in the FA Cup Di Maria is spacing there to find a pass if he wants to and in fact he's going to go use Fellaini Fellaini might use myself or Mata in fact uses Di Maria again who finds Mata who finds me and I kind of get around the defender I can ref that has to be and is a penalty. A shocking challenge from Felipe Luis. Is, it, he's, is he going to send him? He went to his back pocket and then pulled his hand away. You saw that there on that replay. or on the, He's such a bad challenge. So poorly timed. That has to be at least a booking. I was about to put that ball into the back of the net. They bring on Cesc Fabregas for Thorgan Hazard. I can't understand how that isn't at least a yellow, if not a red. How is that not a clear goal-scoring opportunity? I was literally about to pull the trigger and get it into the back of the net. Wayne Rooney to try and make it 3-0 and put the game to bed with only half an hour to go. It's 2-0 already. Wayne Rooney versus Courtois, and he's put it straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. I win the penalty, don't get the chance to take it myself, and Wayne Rooney wastes the opportunity. Wowzers, I can't quite believe he's done that. The tamest of penalties right down the middle of the goal. Simple save for Thibaut Courtois, who's been in good form so far today. Let's try. That was supposed to be a Berber spin, never mind. Oh, we stay at 2 0. Is Aspi out wide to Eden Hazard? Chelsea's still got plenty of time to get themselves back in it. Two quick goals would be enough. They whip the ball in, cleared by Raphael. I'm going to try and chase this, but it's away from me. JT coming forward with it. Gets it to Felipe Luis. There's Benzema in the box waiting for it. Not the best of challenges, but they'll play on. Nathan Ake gets picked off. Now we get the chance for a counter-attack. Robin, play me. No, he hasn't. OK, I'll call for it from Raphael, and he will. Bring it down well. Let's try a bit of skill to get past Felipe Luis, and it's worked beautifully. And now it's me versus JT for pace, and he's not really seemingly too interested in it. I'm just going to try and... I'm actually going to try and dink it. That was the worst decision I think I've ever made. Still, though, it wasted some good time. I tried to, you see, my guy just tried to scoop it there. Courtois stood his ground brilliantly. And now I'm going to try and make up for my error by trying winning it back. And they've just played it around me. Oh, well, we're in stoppage time. Chelsea not really going to stand a chance to get themselves back in it. Felipe Luis with a good header, or good cross rather, with the head of his uh, teammate winning it. But unfortunately for Chelsea, we hook it away back to uh, their own half again. I'm going to lunge at this. Probably shouldn't have lunged at that. The ball presented itself, but it doesn't matter. There goes the final whistle. I'm not even enough time for me to get 
But there we go. Chelsea nil, Manchester United 2. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup thanks to a goal from ourselves and a goal from Juan Mata. Really pleased with that. And uh, we'll jump into the fourth and final game of the episode right now. Rafael up to Leroy Fer at the start of this QPR game. They're on the attack right from the off. But then we might catch them on the counter-attack right from the off as well. Blind can play me through. And I am on side here. Chance to score for the third game in a row. And we have done, yes. What a start. Man United fans will actually be above me, won't they, in that top tier at this end of, Q of uh, Loftus Road. Oh, brilliant start. Couldn't have asked better than that, could we? Did we score in the first game? I actually can't remember. We didn't, did we? It was 2-0 Tottenham. So we scored in three of today's four games, and that was probably the easiest of all of the ones that we have scored. 1-0 to Manchester United after just three minutes. Here's Leroy Fair on the edge of the box. He gave it away last time, and we caught them on the counter-attack. This time, though, draws a good save out the keeper, and again, he bats it clear and palms it into danger. I really don't like the way he does that, Waiter. But regardless, we'll try and catch some of the counter-attacks. Me versus Robinson. I don't know how fast he is, so I won't try and pointlessly just outpace him around the outside. Rooney gets wiped out. Fellaini picks up the loose ball, though. Rooney will pick it up again from Mata. Chance to make it two, perhaps, if they can take their time. One Mata's in behind. I'll tell him to have a shot. He's hit the outside of the post. A chance for 2-0 in the 10th minute, and unfortunately, the woodwork denies us. We probably would have stood a better chance if Rooney had taken that free kick from the edge of the box, but never mind. We'll, uh, we'll build on that. That's a good chance to make it two. Hopefully, next time, we will actually definitely make it 2-0. Tackle by Blind on Fair. I'll call for through ball. Leroy Fair is just dived in through the back of him is he going to get sent here no it's only a yellow that was not the smartest of challenges from Leroy Fur on the stroke of half time I was about to be played through clean one on one and Fur I think came from behind to go through him it may have been from the side we'll have a look at the replay it's from behind and he's got nowhere near the ball I think I think that's a dangerous challenge and that should be a red card I might be wrong and uh, maybe it was a correct decision by the referee, but as far as I'm concerned, that was a really dangerous challenge from behind. As Blind was playing me through one-on-one, -on -one, I think that should have been a red card, but never mind. We'll see if we can uh, punish them by getting a goal here at the end of the second half to make it two, just to really rub salt in the wounds. Nice turn. There's the shot deflected by Stephen Colker, the other player that's on a yellow card. And it's going to go out for a corner. Now, can Di Maria get a good ball into the box? I'll call for it here. It's not the best of corners, but uh, we've been able to win another one on the back of that. So let's try again, shall we, to get ourselves a second goal in this one and try and steal three points. Di Maria this time tries to play it to me at the near post. I try and flick it on, but I didn't really stand a chance there. And there goes the half-time whistle. 1-0 up at the break, and we'll try and build on that in the second half. Wow. Well, to wrap, Taliki got well down the right-hand side. 25 minutes to go, beats the challenge. Nice first touch by Tarap, turns inside. Oh, loose pass. Really should have done better there. That was a glorious opportunity for QPR to get an equaliser. All they had to do was just square that across and tap it in, but unfortunately they tried to do one thing too many. A call for a through ball. Flaney will get it to me. I don't really too much I can do here, but Flaney's made the run, so I will play him in, and then I'll call for a through ball again. Oh, not the best of passes, Marouane. Not the best of passes at all. If you can get out of the way, it'd be much appreciated because I want to stand this cross up looking for the man at the back post, which is Matter, unfortunately. I wanted to try and pick up Robin Van Persie, but unfortunately my cross was a little bit too heavy. Raphael, great feet to get away from the defenders. He's still going, Raphael. Fees Junior Hoyler, who's got the pace to get away, and that took a top save from Waita to stop QPR from getting back on level terms. It's been a bit of a slow game, really, this fourth and final one, unfortunately, after all the action in the first three. But uh, that was a decent save from the keeper that needed to be made. And even though it's been quite a boring game, it would still be nice to come away with three points and grind out that victory to get ourselves closer to the top of the table. They're going to get another corner here, making a change. We are Raphael for Smalling. At least there's more height in the box to try and get this corner away. Troy will stand it up. Keeps should come and get it. He hasn't done, and it was actually Smalling that got the ball away there. I'm going to try and get it off Harriman if I can. I can't, but Mata is going to recover the ball. I'll call for a through ball. Hopefully he'll play it quite way in front of me. He hasn't done. Harriman is going to get it back off me, but I can steal it back off him. Chance then to make it 2-0. Uh, I'm running out of space. We'll try a burma spin here and then try and feed it in that bottom corner. It's deflected. It's gone out for a corner at the other end. Oh, space just kind of ran out on me there. I had no real option but to try and at least tr attempt to turn inside. That's a vital block. So I'm not sure keeper would have got on the end of that. Di Maria with a corner. His corners are terrible. Can this one be better? It might be. It's headed my way. We've got the headed goal. That is our 20th header. A header against Chelsea. A header against QPR. Couple of accomplishments as well. Delighted with that. 2-0 to Manchester United after it really could have been 1-1 at the other end. 
at last, Di Maria puts in a good quality corner and we finally get ourselves another header goal. That's 20 for the career, not just the, not the season. That's 20 in our career. We've scored over 150 goals now, I think. But um, actually, I will check. Let's see how many goals we've scored total. It will tell me in the accomplishments if I have a look at shooting goals. That was our 141st goal. So we are close now to uh, another accomplishment there for finishing to go up one again. And we're close to a couple of other accomplishments as well. So fingers crossed that can continue to uh, happen in the next few episodes. But that's a good way to end this fourth game then. I'm pleased with that. After a, a really boring game to this particular point, unfortunately, we have managed to pick up a second uh, goal. And there's another accomplishment, 100 tackles. Getting stuck in defensively. It's taken me like into the fourth season to get 100 tackles. It shows how much work I put in defensively. Adel Terap's trying to work the ball back into the box for them, but Shaw's going to get it away. Well, after... Uh, not the most entertaining of fourth games. We are going to get a 2-0 victory and three points. I'm not too sure how long the video is going to be by the time I've edited it down. I'm not sure. It might be over half an hour. It might not be over half an hour. I presume it will be, considering the fact that we've played four games. It may be closer to 45 minutes, but you'll have to let me know in the comments section whether you enjoyed it. And if you did, then, of course, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section whether you made it all the way through to the end. If you did, uh, leave a comment in the uh, section down below that says hooray for boobs or something like that i don't know just something that will uh, you know kind of a little three or four word comment that lets me know that you made it all the way to uh, this point in the video but that is going to bring it to a close in just a second when eventually the referee does blow his final whistle and you can probably tell throughout the video that my voice has been getting slowly and slowly more worn out i've effectively just been sat here commentating consistently for almost two hours now so despite having consistent water breaks my uh, my voice is kind of oh what sort of shot was that try all right my voice is uh, paying the price for uh, consistently talking for two hours. So uh, hopefully you can appreciate the amount of effort that's gone into making this video. And if you uh, do so, then like I say, drop the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. Earlier on this afternoon, there will have been the match day three from the FIFA 15 online career mode against Pepsi FIFA, which was a very, very good game and definitely worth your checking out. But uh, that is going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do all of the socials, links in the description down below to my Twitch as well, where I'll be streaming PSV career mode later on tonight as well. But for now, I'll see you next time.